Is my hair Whoa. like making noises? Testing one, two, three. My Testing four, five, awesome. six. Does it look? Is it? I'm not sure. Too saggy. Does it look like that? It looks weird. I'm walking through the hub at the college, mm -hmm. and uh, I look over it and I see her again. And I'm like, all right. And so I go over and I figure out what am I going to say to her? What line can I use? <laughs> back <laughs> back, back with MySpace. My yeah. We met online. Our very first date was Ubi Sushi and Ocean Shores. As I walk up, she's reading her Bible. Okay. And I sit down next to her in one of the seats and I said, nice book. That was my first line to her. My sister was in dance and she just joined a class that was for older girls. So I said, can you, if there's anybody single there, let me know. And basically the day she went, she gave me her name and then I MySpaced her. <laughs> I mean, basically just, I feel like an internet stalked you a little bit. Uh, second day to Beach, Damon Point. And you just had a mustache back then. Like all this beard was gone and it was just mustache. So you can see. But it was so cute. We were dating for our senior year and then we both went to Grace Harper and she played volleyball. I did. It was a big part of it. I mean, that's where we met. That's where we didn't have a lot of money. So I guess you could say most of our courting was at the college. Grace Harbor College is like the center around our entire relationship, basically. I was very much into just kind of athletics. And I think I wanted to be a what is it? physical therapist. Physical therapist. Mm -hmm. So we Until both I started doing started. science. <laughs> yeah. nice. I think we both had <laughs> yeah. those goals. Yeah. The practice rooms at the college were fantastic uh, with the pianos in them. So, okay. I would woo her by playing her beautiful that, piano music. That is what broke me down because <laughs> he would take me into those little practice rooms and he would play this most beautiful piano music and it... it I had a motive. I had a motive. It wooed me. I met him just before I started coming to college here and we've been in and out of like three different homes now and he supported my education and helped me you know like he would pack up the whole house while I would be studying on a small foldable table in the corner I think we started like chemistry together maybe yeah yeah I think maybe physics <laughs> maybe physics we did together yeah, no, yeah, yeah the first quarter I think we did first quarter together yeah. one day she was sitting in the cafeteria part of the hub and she was having hash browns and cheese because that was the cheapest thing on the menu. And I walked up to her and I sat down with her and I was talking to her and all I kind of I kind of reached up. I remember playing with her hair a little bit. She looked at me, what are you doing? When I got more involved in student government, he got more involved too because I would tell him when we would need uh, volunteers and help and uh, he would just be there at the drop of a pen. You don't really know what you want to be when you get out of high school and yeah. you're learning in college. That's Grace Harbor College. Being more affordable and local allowed us, you can learn what you want to be. It's remodeled, but it's like the same, and it's fun to relive this. Go to the bathrooms, are like the exact same. Right there, they're, they're the same. Uh, not that we did anything in the bathrooms. I'm just being, <laughs> I'm just needing that. Anyway. And then I said, I said, you know, I think, I think we should get married. I was in shock, because I told one of my friends, Rick asked me to marry him, and I said yes. <laughs> That's how I started volunteering is because she was yeah. doing student government and they like, she would come home and be like, oh man, you know, we're stressing out. We need, we yeah. don't have enough we need people the for the food bank. bank. Yeah. I'm like, well, can I go volunteer? And she's like, yeah, I mean, like their job will ease and stuff. We matured as people and it was our first sense of independence and we got to grow, but also grow together, I guess. That is good. You get the, you know, once you get the podium, you're really good at it. Every time I could meet her, I did. And you didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do, so I married you. When we come together and we have to do volunteer work at the college, it's like, it's just good, you know, mm -hmm. being able to help people out. And then it's just both of us do it together. It makes it better, you know. We planned for the university, like living together at that point, you know, transitioning to an apartment and all that stuff. So. Basically, it was a testing ground to make sure we we're going to stay together. I mean, that's really what it was. I mean, high school was rocky, and then you get to college, and you're like, ah, oh, yeah, she's pretty cool. And then here's the rest of history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's things that you you like to do, and there's things you don't like to do, and sometimes you just got to do the things you don't like for the person that likes them. Oh, you have any advice? I think my advice would be. 
to just do what makes you happy. And if you found someone that it makes you happy, you don't have to be scared of it. You can just go for it. Definitely listen to yourself, not other people, because other people don't know like what it's like between the relationship just when it's just you guys. I've gone to Planet of the Ape movies and I hate Planet of the Ape. I movies. love them. And he's got a chick flick I have. for me because that's what I like. To be open to you never know where the person that you end up falling in love with or eventually marrying and having three beautiful girls with will come from. Everybody's got opinions about how to act and what to say or how to deal with a complicated problem in a relationship even if they're not in a relationship be interested you know don't just don't give lip service but be interested in the other person and what they what they want to do with their life um, you'd be surprised at what um, there's so much more to that person that you are involved with than you really even know you might be attracted to their looks or one certain thing aspect of them but people are they have so many aspects to them it's so important to to listen to people and what they what they want to do she actually has homework and she keeps trying to not do it but she's got to do homework this is why I need him, though. Like, this, is, this is why I'm succeeding in my education here. <laughs>